Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I will be reviewing The Other Man by Farhad Dadi Bourjour. So this is an adult contemporary book about a 38 year old man named Ved who is, um, he is running his father's company. He hasn't really done that much else with his life and he is a closeted gay man in India where, um, where homosexuality is a criminal act. Um, so Basically, he has lived pretty much his whole life never coming out because, and he, he's just gotten used to never, never coming out to his parents or anybody. Like, literally nobody knows he's gay besides random dudes he's hooked up with on um, a hookup app and um, the one guy he actually had a committed relationship with, basically. And so... Um, so his mother is constantly trying to get him to, um, get married and all that stuff. So she's constantly sending him on dates with, like, ladies that her friends know and blah de blah de blah And so, um, so one day he goes on a date with one of the, one such lady and, um, and he realizes, like, he kind of thinks that, okay, um, like you know, she's a nice, she's a really nice girl. We get along really well. We, um, we're good friends, blah de blah de blah And he, so he starts thinking like, well, if I'm going to have to get married at some point, like there is nobody better than her because at least we get along really well, blah, blah, blah. We're both eventually going to have to get married anyway. It might as well be to each other. Like this is actually a pretty good situation, blah, blah, blah. And so he gets further and further into this like arranged marriage type of deal. Um, with a woman who he obviously is is not attracted to, doesn't really want to marry because he doesn't really want to be with a woman at all. Um, and so it's complicated even more by the fact that um, he... So the, the guy who he used to date, who... Um, uh, who he had a relationship with for I think it was like five years... Um, actually the reason that that guy broke up with him was because his parents wanted him to wanted him to get married so um and so he really does not want to end up like that guy and feel you know and just have a miserable life basically um not being able to be with a man and having to be with like a woman who he's not in love with or anything and so he meets this guy named Carlos who uh, comes to India on a business trip and all this stuff and so he has a really really good time with him and they get into a relationship and they really you know it seems like he's really in love with this guy so then he doesn't tell Carlos about his upcoming arranged marriage at all. And he is spending as much time with Carlos as possible before Carlos eventually has to leave and go back to the US. So his thought process is um, that Carlos is going to leave the country again anyway. So there's no um, hope there. There's no future there anyway, uh, regardless of how they might feel about each other. So he almost doesn't see the point in telling him about the arranged marriage or anything like that. Um, and then he sees no reason to really get out of this arranged marriage that he's already like really deep in. And the deeper he gets into it, the the more it looks like he's not going to be able to get out of it. And he's really stressed out about it. He like doesn't sleep at night. All he's basically doing to this guy, to, to Carlos, what his former boyfriend did to him. Um, basically. And so uh, it drives him insane. And so it's this whole thing that spirals out of control. And he event he has to really think about, do I like, what can I actually do here? I have to do something. Um, I can't live like this, basically. And so it is such a good book. It's so high stakes. It's so like, it actually ends really well and ties up all the loose ends happily and really well. Um, like even for, uh, for the woman who he's engaged to and all this stuff, like everyone ends up like really happy and everything ends up really well. But how you get there is like, you really almost don't think that it's going to and it's really really worrisome and it's really high stakes um so I really really enjoyed this book I ha I could barely put it down and it really kept me on the edge of my seat the entire time so I really really highly recommend this book um it's a really good queer story it's a really good story that takes place entirely outside of the U.S. as well um so if you're looking for some more really good books like that um definitely check this out 
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've read this book, have any thoughts on them uh, on it, uh, please let me know in the comments and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!